Google form can be created individually or collaboratively. It can be shared with others for collecting data or information. You can add variety of questions like test question where respondents provide short answers, paragraph text where descriptive answers can be given, or multiple choice or check boxes where answers can be selected from the options provided. Now, let us find more about Google Forms. Google Forms are not just surveys, but you can use it for managing event registration, collecting feedback, take up a quick poll, or even to create a pop quiz. You can customize it by adding theme, logo of your institution, or color palettes to create your own unique form. You can add collaborators to let your friends, classmates and colleagues build the survey with you at the same time. You can shuffle questions so they appear in random order. You can invite an unlimited number of respondents to your form by sharing the URL, emailing an embedded form so they can respond without leaving their Gmail inbox. Responses to your surveys are neatly and automatically collected in Google Sheets and charts are available right inside forms. This is the interface of Google Forms. You can see title of the form in the top left corner of the form. By default, when you create a new form, it is untitled. You need to click on it in order to rename it. This is the main body of your Google form. All the questions or test items added in the form will be displayed here. You can add variety of questions or test items. Add item button allows adding more items in the form. Down arrow allows the selection of type of item to be added. Once a form is created, it can be sent to the participants by clicking Send Form. A box will open. Add email address of respondents and click on Done. Once you have created a form, you are ready to start adding the questions you would like to ask. To add a question to your form, click the arrow next to the Add Item button and select the question type. You may select text for short answers, paragraph text for long answers, multiple choice questions, check boxes, Choose from a list, scale, greed, date, time, etc. You can add structure to your form by selecting section header and page break. Clicking the add item button and not the arrow will initially give you the default question type that is text. Once you have added a question, you can change its type by selecting from the question type menu. If you want to prevent respondents from leaving a question blank, 
check the required question box which makes sure users answer a question before submitting the form. To edit an existing item, just click the edit button to the right side of the question you want to edit. To duplicate an item, click the duplicate button to the right of the question you want to duplicate. To delete an item, click the delete button to the right of the question you want to delete. If you want to personalize your form, you can add a theme to the form. To add a theme to an existing form, click on change theme in toolbar. Scroll through the templates in the panel. On the right hand, click the theme you would like to add to your current form. Your new theme will automatically be applied and you can continue editing your form. Once a form is created, it can be sent to the participants by clicking on send form. A box will open. Add email address of respondents and click on send. Google Forms can be connected to a Google Spreadsheet so that responses can be automatically sent to the spreadsheet. This option can be selected by opening responses and then by clicking on Change Response Destination. Select the option as per your convenience and click on create. Google Drawing allows you to create, share and edit drawings online. You can edit these drawings collaboratively in the real time by inviting others. Chat facility can be used while working collaboratively from within the drawings editor. You can publish created drawings online as images or can download in standard formats. You can also insert these drawings into other Google documents, spreadsheets or presentations. To add a Google drawing to other Google document or spreadsheet or presentation, create the drawing Click on Edit menu and select Web Clipboard. Select Copy Shape to Web Clipboard. The shape will be added. This drawing can then be added to the Google document, spreadsheet or presentation. Now open the Google file where you want to add the drawing. Click on Edit. Select Web Clipboard. It will show all the drawings you have added to the Web Clipboard. Select the drawing. It will get added to the document.